Alright, more corrections to make, more corrections to make. I want to make a note of our last combat. I don't think I did any of those right. <laughs> I can't do nothing right in this game, and it's not the game, it's me. Alright, this one here. When I looked under the table, I said it was a four, it was actually a five. That should be an attacker that loses one. So he gets his unit back. Oops. And we took one off him already. But uh, yeah, that's result. And I was looking through that video and it was all mistakes. <laughs> I don't think I did anything right. So I'm going to have to slow it down on these next uh, attacks and movements. Just slow it down. Look at that. And the bad thing about it is, is this thing here is my god. It's all too long. I'm trying to look 10 feet away at the results and stuff. So I'm going to go back to just looking at my picture and uh, do it myself. I'll have to relay the results. I think that might be half of it. what's going on. All right, let me fix this on up and we'll be back. All right, we will be looking at some more video, checking things out, but so far, I think we've caught all the mistakes. And like I said, there are a lot of them. I was using the wrong number. Oh God, I'm telling you, I'm using the wrong die rolls. So we're, we're getting it straight up, we're back. All right, more notes, more notes to be made. Uh, on my last video, I said that these were 12ers, they were 14s. They weren't 12 or so yeah i need to just like slow it down do things right but yeah that, but the only thing is it, what, it didn't affect the battle it was still a one-to-one -one. so that integrity is still good haven't lost anything yet still reviewing we'll be back. all right a quick summary then what we need to do is make sure we're looking at the right number take our time read the die roll and like i said i'm going to take a picture of these results up here i think that was a lot of the problem but uh yeah just take our time I don't know what, what bad mojo was, but uh, yeah, and the thing of it is we caught it, which is cool. So the game integrity is still good. We will be going on up here with the rest of these Soviet attacks. And uh, like I said, I'm a stickler for making sure the game's run like it's supposed to. And I believe I've caught everything, so we'll be back. All right, we're gonna finish up here. Another thing I was looking at too, is I thought maybe I used this artillery with one of these attacks, but I didn't add it with the numbers. And I was like, oh shoot. But everything was going wrong with that one after I watched the reviews. So uh, we're going to look up here and let's see if this is an artillery unit. It is. All right, we will use him for the attack right here. All right, these units here will be halved. Uh, a six and a six using the first number of the attack factor. <laughs> you never know. You never know the way my mind's going. It's going bad. All right, let's see what we got here. And that's another couple sixers, but these guys will be fighting at their regular strength. Oh, here we go. Three and a 12. Still a one to one. This here though, Push it up to a two to one. We make sure we got everything ready. Ain't no towns, no forest. Looking at the 14 number. Be right back. All right, here we go then. Six, 12, 18 equals 36 divided by 14. Just one unit there. And that will be a 2.7, 2.57, a two to one attack. Oh, Kami die, two to one attack with a two. So let's get this right, let's get this right. Soviet, two to one attack. Are oh, you there with a two? The two will be a white number. Defend their retreat. All right, so we will retreat him. Oh, one hex. Well, yeah, we gotta get out of his own control, so we gotta go back that way. One hex. These guys can advance. We'll advance these ones here. Over the river. Oh, but not through the woods. I know grandmother's house, they will not go. They will knock on some doors, but it won't be their grandma's. All right, we'll look and see here. The, the, the tar artillery. Definitely a game changer in that one. Done by the book. No mistakes. All right, we got three units here. I think we can attack across the river. We need to get. We need to get across that river. So these three units will be attacking next, but they'll all be halved. 
against a 14 that is in the clear. Be back. All right, next attack will be, oh, where are we at here? All right, we have a total of 34, but that'll be divided by two, which will be a 17. 17 divided by the 14 there, there. Look at the last number. Oh, where we at? Where we at? It's hard to see with the camera. All right. It was a 1.21. One to one attack. They're over here. It's at the bottom of the column. Like I said, this is German, US, and Polish. Bottom cover of column, one to one. We will roll the dice. Oh. bloodbath all right a step loss for the bad guys or it depends on what your political affiliation is so we'll be politically neutral and then a step loss for the US unit oh now with the bloodbath result we will do another step loss for the Soviets eliminating the US unit and we will be Advancing after combat done by the book. Be back. All right, another distinction I want to make on this artillery that I've noticed for game designers: mechanized, non-mechanized for cross the river purposes. Whether I'll remember that, <laughs> we'll see. But we do notice it now. All right, coming up here on the next. Uh, here we go. These guys are going to advance across the river. I really don't see any attacks I want to try here, except for against the poles from these four hexes. Let me look it over again, we'll be back. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put our attack pencil right here. From here, here, and here. Be back. All right, here we go. We have uh, 18, 28 factors, but that'll be halved. And I'll do the paperwork down here, it helps out a lot. We'll figure it all out, I'll be right back. All right, we got a 28.0 divided point by 2.0 because they're going across the river. We are back. All right, now, uh, no more low odds attacks. That's for sure with the uh, Soviet player. Unless it's two to one, we're, we can't afford it. We have got some massive casualties coming in and uh, the thing of it is, uh, well, I'd say about one, two, three, four, at least four of them are from our attacks that have failed, so can't be bleeding off units like that uh, we'll go up here though and I do want to attack that Polish unit that's sitting out there very vulnerable and very uh, uh, well, looks like he be eliminated we'll be right back oh well say hello there what do you do down here with daddy huh you gonna get into trouble oh he gets into trouble believe me he's a little puppy he's only about a year old and he gets into trouble he says I find things that I shouldn't be eating. <laughs> we try to keep him busy. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, Daddy knows. All right. I got to go take care of some of my buddy. Be back. Okay. We're back. Oh, I had to go out and play with the dog for a little bit. And oh, my God. He's so needy. <laughs> Burmese Mountain Dogs. They're full of nothing but love. They're the most gentlest breed around. If you ever have a mean one, there's something wrong. He's, he's in a bad environment. But, uh. Yeah, he takes a lot of attention. I think it is. Uh, it's the time of year where I'm off work. And uh, he, he loves Daddy being home. And uh, we get to wake up. Because in the mornings, like I said, 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning, I'm up. I could maybe pat him on the head, put him out, and get out the door. He don't see me till 7 or 8. And then when I get home, it's almost like having kids. You know, uh, I'm sure you get home from work and they're all wanting to play. Hey, Daddy, Daddy. <laughs> You're like, we're ready. I take two steps, take a shower. Grab me a bite to eat, and then I'm hitting the hay. So I am really, I'm telling you what, I am sucking this up like a Hoover Deluxe, the driest sponge in the desert. <laughs> I am loving my time off, and you can tell by all the videos I'm putting out, and I'm loving me some uh, gore gaming. But, unfortunately, I got some projects outside I got to do. And uh, and I want to do some, uh, I got some, I got a, some, uh, another house down the lake I got to start working on, so. This, this might be coming to an end, all these videos. I want to get a couple of these games done, but like I said, I only got about maybe a month left, and then I'll be back at work. So, gaming season might be coming to an end. We're having a great time. Having a great time with these games. 
We're going on this next attack. I'm gonna give you the tail of the tape. We'll be right back. All right, here's all of our factors. Coming up to 25 divided by 12 for the Polish. It was a two to one, 2.8. And there you go. We got some mechanized infantry, infantry armor all going against the Polish freedom fighters. And a two to one attack. And uh, we use that rear number, the 12. We use the right number on everybody. So, <laughs> oh my God, what a morning. Uh, we won't do that again. With a five, two to one with a five. We're looking underneath the Soviet table. Under the two to one with a five. One, let's do this all together. Two, three, four, five. Okay, high numbers, bad on the attacks. Attacker loses one step. I believe that is right. Let me make sure. Let's make sure. Two to one. Bottom table. One, two, three, four, and five. Attacker loses one step. Oh, man. Uh, where are we at here? Yeah, let's get the right. <laughs> oh, what do they call that? Old timers just sinking on in there. We will take out uh, this unit here. Five stepper, bad attack, bad advised attack. Uh, allies put up a good fight, putting up a real good fight. That will be it for the uh, Soviet combat phase. They moved, they combated. Let's go over here to our sequence of play. Soviet combat or move? Oh, all right. So the first one was Soviet movement. Second one was Soviet combat. Now we bring on reinforcements. We'll see what we do on them. I, I think we might just be lining them up. And then they'll move on the next turn. Then we, we'll go to what's called a recycling phase. Guess we'll find out what we do with these units. All right, we got to straighten everybody on up. Show you the situation. We'll be right back. All right, take two. <laughs> Make sure the camera's on. All right, there we go. Or down here. We got a little bit of a bog spot down here. This is going to be where the fight is. Will my, will my clan come through? Might be able to break through through here. Coming on up here. It looks like it's a big stall. Somehow this is my major uh, hole here. I gotta fill that, find out what's going on. Unfortunately, though, we don't really have any units going through there yet. I'll get a chance to move and then fight before that happens. But you can see where I'm thin. Metals. Everybody involved. You know, US, US forces definitely held the big uh, juggernaut or the spearhead of the Russians. Going on up here, but it's precarious. We have some gaps. We're kind of thin. Do we bring the Germans down as a relief force? Or do I keep with the original plan of following the spearhead, cutting off the supply? All right, don't want to overanalyze. It's a good game, having fun. Battery is drained. We we're calling it a vid, and we'll be back with the Soviet reinforcement. We'll just bring these guys on somewhere around here. And then uh, find out what goes on with the recycling. If we can bring some units on, definitely help. Call it a vid. Uh, game integrity intact. Caught the mistakes and uh, slowed it down a little bit. Think we're doing a lot better. Be back. All right, a last minute note on uh, production. You might notice in this video and the one before this that some of those uh, sequences, the video sequence, might have been out of play. Well, what's happening is when I'm looking at the video, when I'm ready to sync them all together some of them are turned the wrong way <laughs> so when I go back and just manually turn them to where the screens you know so you're looking at it like this upside down um, it seems to mess with the order of the of the video so it isn't you it's me in this video it looks like I jumped back and forth to certain battles but it, it was just the editing and uh, I don't know we're having a little uh, what do you call it uh, gremlins <laughs> in the works we're still having a good game like I said, this is a great game. I'm, this might be the, my favorite one yet. And uh, we still got all the uh, game integrity because we found a mistake, so we're getting ready to move on. But yeah, we're having a little bit of troubles with the with me. I'm not reading the dice right. Looking at the wrong numbers. I'm not looking at the terrain. And uh, reading the wrong columns. All part of uh, war gaming, I guess. But uh, we're aware of it. And we're getting it all straightened out. Calling it a vid. And uh, we'll be back. Hopefully we'll have no more troubles with productionies. Be back.